Well, we are in the kitchen this morning here at Fox 4, getting ready for St. Patrick's Day. It's coming up just around the corner. We have Sonia from Yard House Good here morning. with us this morning. Thank you so much for coming. I'm really excited Thank about you for this. Having me. So we're talking St. Patty's food and drinks. Now I'm a big food girl, so let's start with the food, so of I. course. <laughs> yes, it's the best. And one of the big traditional kind of St. Patrick's Day dishes is shepherd's pie, and you guys right. kind of have a unique take on that, right? Yeah, we have our own little spin to a shepherd's pie. Uh, it is kind of like a pocket. Um, but yeah, I would love to de Looks demonstrate really with good. you guys yeah, today definitely. a little bit of, of how we make it at Yard House. Um, mm -hmm. So in the pan, I already have it warmed up. So I do have some olive oil in there. Uh, we're going to throw in some garlic, some carrots, some celery. We're just going to let that simmer. Uh, you let it Yum. simmer until the onions get It already get a little, smells good. It's amazing how yeah, the garlic um, so you want this to simmer until the onions are about a golden brown, a little translucent. Um, and then so you just let that simmer here a little bit. Yum. So we do it a little different. Shepherd's pie usually can be beef or, or mm -hmm. lamb. At Yard House, we do use lamb. Yum. So you throw the lamb in there and you're going to mix that around until, again, it gets a little bit of golden brown. Get it nice and browned in there. Yeah. It looks really good. Smells and that's the really oven good. beeping for all of you at home wondering <laughs> if you're, something in your home is beeping. It's the oven here, we promise. The stove top, I mean, <laughs> it smells so good. Oh, my goodness. And we have our mix of, of sage and thyme, salt, and pepper. We're going to mix all that the in there good as seasonings. well. All seasonings. Got to make it taste really good. Yeah. <clears throat> well, wow. We also are going to throw in some, uh, so we bake our potatoes Ooh. and we Pull them apart, and it's mixed with some peas and some demi glaze. And that's the good stuff, right yep. there. Yep, and you're gonna let the demi glaze fully melt. Yeah, that'll sort of break down and, and be like a gravy almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really, really good. Let's warm it up a little bit, and it wouldn't be a St. Patrick's dish if we didn't have a little Guinness. Oh yeah. Sort of pour a little Gotta Guinness pour in there to in stew there. it all up, and that'll give it a little extra flavor. Yes. Yes, it makes really, really good. And so once this is all cooked, uh. This is what it would look like. Um, you okay. would actually put in the center of a pastry puff. So it's like a little pocket here. Yeah. Looks really good. Yeah, yeah. And then you would uh, bake that. You put some egg wash on it, bake it in the oven, um, and then that's what the final product would look like. Top with some mashed potatoes here and some gravy. What an awesome take on shepherd's pie. Really so unique good. and almost more modern, sort yeah, of. So I love good. it. And this isn't the only food item you guys have as a special for St. Patrick's Day. What else do you guys yeah. have? So we have our pub fair menu going on and that is gonna happen until April 8th. Um, so these are, these are some of the items that you can get on our pub fair menu. Um, this is our whiskey, uh, black pepper whiskey glazed salmon. Yum. It comes with cocaine mashed potatoes, which are my favorite. Looks amazing. And this is the shepherd pie as we talked about. And this one, this is a mouthful, but this is our grilled Guinness cheddar and braised beef milk. Yum. So good. And it comes so with good. our uh, tomato bisque. And then we do have a few cocktails you can pair it with. So that's our take on a margarita. It's not made with tequila. It is made with uh, Jameson. Of course. In the <laughs> St. Patty's yep. Day spirit. And then we have a Dublin mule. And so that's Who doesn't also. love a Moscow exactly. mule? Everything looks really good. It smells amazing in here. This kitchen is just, mm, I'm going to get, I can't <laughs> wait to eat all this. It looks awesome. Thank you so much oh, no, for being for here this morning, me. too. We just love being able to highlight different local chefs in the area, different local restaurants that people can go to to try food in light of different holidays. So we really appreciate you being here. Everything smells good. Got the drinks, too. Thank you so much for coming, Sonia. Thank we really you. appreciate Come visit it. Come visit us at Yard House.